let's start our unit with information that will help us better understand what is Thales' theorem. The proportional segments. Pay attention to the rectangles in the figure. You can easily observe that are four segments with the lengths of which a proportion can be formed. So, definition. We say that the segments are proportional to the segments if their lengths expressed in the same unit of measure are proportional. We note, please verify if in the picture below are proportional with solution. We can observe that the three proportions have equal values with 0.5. Can you tell which are the proportional segments in the following figure? It is noted that the lengths of the four segments are terms of proportion, therefore, and we say that, are proportional segments. Now let's see how it works and the link with Thales' theorem. Thales' theorem. A parallel to one of the sides of the triangle will form proportional segments with the other two sides or their extensions. How can we use the Thales' theorem in real-life situations? The owner of a rectangular field is a green energy enthusiast and decided to install a second wind turbine. We named this field ABCD, where AC equals 120 meters and BC is 72 meters. His first wind turbine is represented with E1, point placed on diagonal AC, so E1C equals 40 meters. The owner wants to place the second E2 turbine on the BC side of the field, so that the right determined by the point E1 and E2 is parallel to the right AB. How far away from point B will the second wind turbine E2 be installed? In... we have... According to Thales' theorem, we get the Therefore, the owner will place the second wind turbine at 48 meters from point B using Thales' theorem.